introduce my friends to Zai, your host, the mighty Blue Magus, and let's just jump right into it because the King of Fighters 14 is awesome. Now, I had my doubts after seeing these subpar 3D models from the first teaser trailer, but after more trailers came out and then getting my hands on the game, I think it's safe to say that everyone is eating their words. The latest installment in the King of Fighters franchise begins a brand new arc with new gameplay mechanics and is a welcome return after a six year hiatus. Wow, and I thought my ability to put out content was bad. Yeah, it took me seven months to review another video game, but at least I didn't take six years! SNK reclaims their original name by dropping the play more and just going back to being SNK again. Which reminds me, hey Attack on Titan! The Kings have returned! Terry Bogart would totally punch a hole through the colossal Titan's face. He beat the God of War, you think some giant naked dude would scare him? Pfft, get serious! I will not apologize for that joke. Alright! But okay, how is the game? Well, like I said before, it's fantastic. While not being the best looking fighting game on the market, though I will say its graphics are just fine, it's certainly one of the funnest with one of the smoothest fight mechanics I have ever seen in a fighting game. Every move flows beautifully into the next, from regular attacks, to special attacks, to super special attacks, to climax attacks, and you can use all of these in one big flow if you're good enough to maximize your combos. Just go to the King of Fighters Tournament Fighters Facebook page and look up some really cool combo videos that people have put together. It's great stuff. The story mode is a lot of fun too. It's definitely a lot more lighthearted than SNK's previous stories, but honestly, I think it really, really works. The colors are bright, it's a really, really relaxed kind of feel, and you can really get into it. And I know everybody pretty much took the piss out of Street Fighter V for not having a lot of content on day one, but let's be straight up right now, okay? If that was your biggest problem with Street Fighter V, then you will love King of Fighters 14 because it is just oozing with content. You have 50 playable characters, and if you just spent 10 minutes with each individual character trying to nail down a few moves in the trial mode and have a good time with them? Well, let's just do some number crunching. Well, you don't have to because I already did it for you. You get about eight and a half hours of content and that's just by messing around with the characters. Oh my lord. You have the story mode, the versus mode, the trial mode, the training mode, the three on three versus and online. And that last one's really important because you see the biggest problem with King of Fighters 13 was that although it was certainly a beautiful game to look at, its netcode was terrible. Nobody likes King of Fighters 13's netcode because it barely works. Well, after a rocky start and some patching, King of Fighters 14's netcode works much better and you're more easily able to find matches online. But let's go back to the graphics for a second because they are a bit of a source of controversy. But quick question, since when has SNK ever been about graphics? Okay, I want everyone to follow me on this one. I want you to look at the sprites from King of Fighters 1 through King of Fighters 13 and you'll see that they don't really change them all that much. And for the past several years, everyone has always had the mentality of gameplay is more important than graphics. And only now does everyone complain about how pretty a game is. You know, I probably wouldn't even mind it if King of Fighters 14 looked like Virtua Fighter 1 at this point. I'm just happy that they put it out and the game is fun to play. If you haven't picked up King of Fighters 14 yet, well, what are you waiting for? Go do it! Well, if you're waiting for a price drop, eh, fair enough. But if you ask me, this game is definitely worth the $60 price point. And message to SNK. Number one, I am updating my Terry Bogard cosplay. Number two, for the love of God, stay away from pachinko machines and never, ever go six years without releasing another video game again. The fighting game world needs you. Seriously, buy it. It's good. It's a good game.